Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be kitting up two diamond paintings. Both of these diamond paintings are from Crafties. Um, so this is the first diamond painting here. Um, well, let me show you. So here is, oops, the thumbnail. If it'll focus, there you go. And it's called Evening Stars by Carla Gerard. It's from Crafties. This was $33.39. That was after like a 20% off coupon and a three and also $3 for shipping. Um, it's a 30 by 50 almost um, poured glue canvas with round drills and rhinestones. And they do have DMCs and there were 24 colors in all. And then the second one, I don't even know which one we're going to do first, but these were just how it was piled. So here is the next one, this one here, and here is the original image right there. And this one is called North Spirit by Lex Zeus. Zeus. Um, it's like, a, this is also from Crafties. This was $32.98. And this was after a $10 off coupon with, and then another $3 for shipping. So that's how much I paid for that one. So this is about, it's a little bit less than a 40 by 40 with poured glue, round drills that add rhinestones and there are DMCs. And this one has 28 colors in all with three being rhinestones. So yeah. I don't know which one I'm gonna be kidding up first. I'll just, I'll just kid up whichever container I get first. I'll probably do the one with more first. So I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna kit them up in the same container. I'm gonna be using this, um, this 60 bottle storage container that I got from, um, where did I get this from? Saint, I got this from. I think I, I think this was the one I got from Saner Direct that they asked me to review. This is actually gonna be the first time I'm using these, so. So I guess this is my review of it. So um, what I my plan is I'm gonna kit um, one um, up this going this way, and then the other one I'm gonna kit up going this way. So that way they'll be in the right orientation. I don't know. So yeah. So let's get started. I think yeah this yeah this is the yeah this is the one with the deer. I'm going to, since yeah, I don't see the DMC numbers on the drills. I do usually need the, the canvas on the side here to tell me <laughs> what it is. So I did scan the legend and put it on some labels. If you want to know how I did that, I did make a video on how I make my labels. Um, Somewhere, it should be somewhere on my channel. Um, so I'm just taking out the excess label. So I like to label up all my containers first. I find it's easier to kit up that way. So, and for some reason, the bottle storage, I like to go this way, start the front and then go back. Um, I, and then I'll, pro I'll probably end up putting these on in DMC, I'm not in, in alphabetical order after it's done. You know, I think sometimes when you scan the legend, it's kind of annoying because you can see the, the canvas texture. Is that, yeah, that's the right word. That's the canvas texture. So it's, Sometimes not the clearest, so. But I'll figure it out because it'll probably be just just as kind of not clear on the real canvas, right? I don't know. But yeah, when you do scan it, you kind of scan also the the canvas texture, and since this is bigger than what is printed on the canvas, it it does kind of become a little unclear. I'll probably. When I'm doing it, I'll end up writing over some of the symbols that didn't get that aren't completely clear with some with like a pen just to But that is what's nice sometimes about the diamond painting companies that print on like Like on the like there's like a different type of canvas where the print quality is really really good uh, And this is not this is not one of them 
All right, so, so yeah, number one, 164. Oh, am I going to need my, I don't know if I'm going to need my funnel, so I'm going to move this a little forward. I'm going to try, try be, without the funnel first. Because I actually prefer it without the funnel because I can see when the bottle is getting full. So, and then I do, oops, I guess that one, since this is the first time I'm using it, that one was not completely screwed in. Um, so I'm hoping... So I am recording this two weeks before it's being posted. I'm sorry if you could hear. Sounds like they're doing landscaping outside someone. I could hear. It's not the mower. It's like that one where it's just kind of like a weed whacker. Um, I think that's what it sounds like. So I don't know if you could hear it from the video that, yeah, someone is doing some sort of landscaping. And then I also, it's also pretty warm today. Um, the Seattle area is going through an unusual heat wave and I also have my fan on right next to me so I don't know how much of that you're hearing. <laughs> I mean I can hear it but how good is my microphone picking up all these extra sounds I don't know. So yeah, if you hear all of that, that's what's in the background. <laughs> But yeah, I've started doing these like double kit ups for these ones that I don't anticipate taking long to kit up just because, yeah, I, um, I did say in the video that I said this is being posted two weeks before it's, um, this is going to be posted. I mean, this is being recorded two weeks after, before it's going to get posted. So the last kitting up I did, um, that just posted it. I think I did add, um, mention that I asked if people would prefer these longer ones or would just rather just have just the one. Okay, so so seven nine one is that number seven? Yeah, I don't think this is all gonna fit into one container, but and I don't know if you see. Look, this didn't get completely sealed. So I'm going to take out another container because I do have, what, 24 in the other one and 28 in this one. So I should have eight extra. So I'm going to think I'm going to I think I'm going to probably have enough. Um, I'm going to take out some labels because I'm going to take out some labels and a pen because I don't think this is all going to fit into one container. I already anticipate that so it's probably good that this didn't get squished so now I only have one cut that I had to do but yeah it's not gonna all fit so I'm hoping there'll be enough extra containers that I'm not gonna go have to put some baggies or something okay so this is 791 So I like to use the emptier container first so that when I don't freak out in the end if I think I'm going to run out. So 791. Okay, so 796. Oh, okay, so just making sure. These two look really similar that I thought they were the same color, but no, this is 8 and 9. So I guess the next one is 796, 797, 798. I really like it when they have the sequential DMCs. I think you get more, um, like you get more of the shading. Um, it, it ends up turning out better, I think. I don't know, is this all gonna fit? This is not, I don't think this is all gonna fit either. Um, okay, so I'm hoping that the next one won't have too many that needs more than one bottle because I'm already, down two in this one, so let me see. Seven ninety six. The one bad thing about these bottles is they don't hold that much. So, oops, that's upside down. They don't hold that much, so you do 
end up having to do these multiple. This one, I don't think it's going to fit either. Um, I did say I had eight extra, but that's going to be eight extra for both of them. So, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe this one will all fit into one. Yeah, no, that's not all going to fit. Okay. So, $7.97. At least it sounds like they stopped doing the extra grinding. I don't know, we'll see. Have an extra bit there. $7.98. I think this will all fit. Okay. $8.20. Okay, no, $8.20 is not gonna all fit. There's two bags. So let's hope it's just two bottles, but we'll see. Um, <laughs> so there's going to be a lot of blues in this one. This one is the um, the deer. What is it called? North 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 Spirit. So yeah, okay. So I think this will be fine with just two bottles, but this is already two that I. Okay, so let's see, eight twenty. Oops, let me make that a better O because I might think that's eight twenty six. So okay, I might start running out of <laughs> extra bottles if this goes on. Um, and I do see twenty seven has a lot, so. I did say what I had like eight extra bottles, so I might have to do the baggy thing for the next one um, for the other diamond painting, but we'll see. I figured this one has more color, so it deserves the extra bottles. Oops. Okay, 8.26. Am I on 13? It's 8.26, number 13. Okay, just making sure I'm still in the right order. Because with all the blues, I can't I can't end up just using the symbol color as my guide because they're all blue. Oop. Okay. I'm hoping to actually I'm I'm thinking I might do this one of these next. Um I'm halfway done with uh, with a diamond painting I'm doing, and I think I, I kind of want to do a pause, a break on that one. So um, I'm going to do another. An, I'm going to start another one, a new one. Um, yeah, because the other one is a 40 by 50, and sometimes the 40 by 50s I do, I do kind of take a break um, when I get halfway done, unless yeah. Unless it was really easy and I was able to just power through it, but it's a square, so it's I it is squares do take much longer to do so than around like much longer. Like I don't know if you realize it, but if you calculate out because squares are two point eight millimeters, um, I mean squares are two point five millimeters. This is gonna take two bottles. Um, squares are two point five millimeters and rounds are two point eight millimeters. Um, and if you calculate it out. Um, a square will have, I think, I calculated this before, a square will have 25% more drills than a round, or a round has 20% less drills than a square. It's, it's weird that the math works out that way. Um, so yeah, so doing a square of the same size, you're just putting down 25% more drills. So that's, of course it makes, takes like, it, of course it takes way more time. So, so yeah, I think right now I finished half of a square, so I'm gonna square diamond paintings. So I'm going to take a break from that and I need to figure out what I'm gonna start next. I might do this one or the other one. We'll see, we'll see how I feel when I'm actually like sitting down to start another project. Because that's sometimes 
that's all it that's on, the only real reason I'd start doing another project is like which one do I feel like doing <laughs> it's just like that feeling oh yeah so I'm not talking about anything let's see okay so I did get from my kidding up I don't know three weeks ago for you for me it was like last week okay so thank you to Jeanette for giving me questions so that I have stuff to talk about so let's see she asked what was your first job have you had any strange jobs okay so those are both job related um, okay let's see uh, my first job is probably also my strange, strangest job. Um, so, I guess most of my, like, most of my jobs have been, you know, in my field, like, lab related. So, I don't really consider them strange. Let me just make sure 20 is still 3812, yeah. Um, I don't really consider them strange, so... So yeah, my strangest job was probably my first job, which I'm only going to count it as a job if, you know, it, you made money from it and it was more than just a short time, like, gig kind of thing. So, um, so when I was in college, I did a job that was with the, the school. So I was paid by, by the, um, university, so... I worked in a job where I, yeah, you, you're, I'm probably one of those people that you'll, I worked in a job where I called people and asked them to do a survey for research purposes. I mean, the place I was like, the place I was working at was, I think what they call it, like the survey, survey research. Um, they called it survey research group sent I don't remember um but but yeah I called people and asked them to do a survey you know doing a job like that you do learn um you do learn you know to get a thick skin because people are mean to people who call you <laughs> and I understand it people but people are mean um to, yeah, if you call them. At least I, like my, my roommate in college worked, um, worked where she called alumni and asked for donations. That's probably worse. But yeah, no, I called people and asked them to do surveys um, for research purposes. And um, let's just say you need a thick skin for it. But it was very, I thought it was interesting. Um, I mean, I thought it was interesting because you know you you ask them the questions over the phone and then you get and I'm actually more actually surprised that more people said yes so as much as I'm saying that there are some people who are mean I'm actually surprised that I got as many people saying yes as I did um, okay I have just a few left and I really kind of want to just stick it in there but I don't know if I'm able to close it but you do, I'm actually surprised how many people actually were willing to do the survey. I mean, I think it helped that I was, I mean, I said what, what school I went to and what I was calling for. Um, and so I think more people are receptive to that. Um, but yeah, I was actually, like I said, I was actually surprised how many people were willing to do it. Um, and okay, so the worst part of the job Okay, I, it's not gonna close. It's so full that it's not... I'm kind of afraid that it'll just... Actually, no, it's it's fine. I'll... <laughs> um, it'll be fine after I first use it. Um, what was I saying? Uh, I was surprised how many people were actually willing to do it. Um, and it was interesting because you got, you got to ask people questions and um, you heard the responses and you had to type down the responses. Um, but the bad thing also is, 
apparently to get a good sampling, a good amount, like a good like sampling of people, you had to call back the people who refused the first time. One lo good thing is you only had to call back once. They only had to refuse twice before, because calling back the people who had refused before was was not fun either. But apparently they they needed they needed those people too because it it betters the sampling, um, like statistically wise. I don't know. I didn't I didn't handle all I didn't handle what happened with the results after, but. It was it was interesting. Um, it's also interesting how much people don't know. Um, okay, I'm gonna need two for this one. Okay, I I uh, if if I need two for this one, I'm not gonna have in the, I'm not gonna the other one is going to be have to be in the extra con like baggies or something because I'm not gonna have any space for any extra. I don't know if this if this one fits into one. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, it was interesting how much people didn't know so um, about just general things. But because not all of them were opinions. Sometimes some of them were opinions; those were interesting, and then some of them were like general knowledge, like what did people know? And it's it's it was surprising to me how much some people didn't know. But like I said, it was interesting. <laughs> so yeah. What. Nine, but yeah, luckily it's not a job where you ask people for money because that's a even more thankless job, I think. Please fit, please fit. Is it gonna fit? I think it, it I think it's gonna fit. Woo! Okay, so now I just have one extra bottle for the other diamond painting. <laughs> So let's flip this around for the other diamond painting here. I'm gonna go get the other diamond painting here too, so that I have the DMC code right there, um, in case I can't figure out. Alright, so let's see here's more labels. The first one is always the hardest label to take out. Alright. So 155. So yeah, what was I saying? The yeah, doing the surveys. It was interesting how much people knew and interesting how much people didn't know. Um, and you do learn a really thick you do get a thick thick skin. Um, <laughs> because some people are mean. So maybe that's what that prepared me for YouTube. What <laughs> There are some people who are mean. Um, and two, you know what was funny is the, my boss, per, um, when, because the original interview was over the phone, I think they wanted to hear how you sound over the phone. And he said I had a very clear voice for, for, um, for the phone. And I'm like, okay, that's good. So maybe, maybe that's translating well into, <laughs> This YouTube channel, maybe I have. I'm. I'm hoping my voice is clear enough that you can understand me. Um, I do. I have turned on my video sometimes when, uh, and then I put in the closed captions just to see if the closed captions could understand me, um, because I figure if it could, if I speak clearly enough, the closed captions should capture what I'm saying correctly. Um, but yeah, he, the the person who hired me did say that my voice was very clear for for phone work. I, like, I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> and I've also had like, current, like, you know, with the pandemic, everyone has the masks. And I had like, I had a um, person at like a check checker at the at a store tell me that I spoke very clearly um, 
considering the masks. Apparently, she has a hard time hearing people through the masks. And I was like, well, I'm speaking purposely louder because I know I have the mask. Um, <laughs> I guess a lot of people still mumble even with the mask. Like, they're not, like, actively trying to speak louder. I don't know. So maybe, yeah. Maybe I just have a good voice for... <laughs> for phone calling, asking people to do surveys. All right, so next question that I can see. Since I'm talking about school or like working at school, so there is another question. Would you prefer, ah, prefer paying for school and medical treatment or higher taxes? Um, I, you know, I have no idea, like, I don't know any other system, so I don't know how well the U.S. will handle. Like, I, okay, so one, I don't think, like, s colleges will ever be free, um, mainly because there's so many of these, like, expensive colleges that I don't think are going to ever be free. Um, just trying to see... Okay, so I only have one extra bottle left. So I think any of these ones with the two, um, with the two, I'm just gonna leave to the end and see which one, and then just open it when I need it. So, so one, I don't think with, I don't think with like places in the U.S. like the Ivy Leagues, I don't think, I don't think we would ever have free colleges um so i don't think that would ever happen um but i mean there are kind of public um colleges like i i went to college in california california has kind of two public um university systems there's the university of california and then the california state university um california state universities are are much cheaper they're more considered the public schools um well while the Uni university of california's are considered semi private semi public so they're but they're still considered public schools because they're still way cheaper than a private school um and when i was going to school because i went i went to a university of california um when I went to college back in the early 2000s, um, I think tuition, this is just based off of like, you, 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 you remembered more the tuition like when you were applying for school. So the, I believe the tuition for the California State Universities at the time of me going to college, which was in the early 2000s, um, the California State Universities, I think they were their tuition was like two thousand to four thousand um, a year dollars a year, so it wasn't that high. I don't know how much it is now. I'm assuming it's way higher. Where you went, where you ended up using up most of your money was housing, because housing was usually, at least in California, it was way more expensive than the tuition. So. Um, so yeah, that's where you get killed. It's the housing. Um, and then the University of California, when I went, um, it was 7,000 something, the tuition a year, um, dollars. I'm sure now it's probably in like, maybe, I'm guessing, probably like 15,000, I don't know. Um, so, so yeah, there are public, universities you still have to pay for them but i don't think the u.s will ever get to some system where you're not paying for um the universities just because there's all the like ivy league ones which i don't think will ever do that um but school wise like you there are public schools up to high school so you can go to school in the public school system at least um, so let's see, and medical treatment, okay, 
that I see more of a possibility happening, like a universal health healthcare, healthcare in the U.S. I have no idea if it's going to happen in my lifetime, <laughs> but I could see that happening more, um, more than us having like college paid for. Um, so yeah, how do and. I figure, you know, I figure it would balance out the taxes. Like, I mean, we pay for we pay for the insurance now. So if we pay for it through taxes, or we pay for it out of, you know, not out of pocket, but you know, we pay our share of the health insurance. Usually, if you are working, a lot of jobs will pay for. Um, medical benefits and um, you end up only having to pay whatever the company is not willing to to pay for and and then usually like if you're married or something you you could piggyback your your significant other on your insurance or vice versa so you usually will like just choose who has the better insurance um, <laughs> Yeah, apparently I have a lot that I'm going to have to just fill up later on. Um, but yeah. So I think in the end, you'd probably be still paying. I don't know. I have no idea. Would, would we still be paying the same amount? Um, like taxes wise versus is us paying for whatever extra premium I don't know um I figure I'm probably just not gonna have a choice <laughs> um so I'll just deal with it when it happens that's kind of a sad way of thinking of it but yeah I just don't really think I'm gonna have a choice if there ends up being universal health care or something like that so we'll see I've been lucky that I've been pretty much employed ever since I've gotten off of my parents' um, insurance, so, or, you know, and, and my work pays for the part of my benefit, so, so yeah, huh, okay, I'm almost done, I think, I think I'll save the other questions for a different kidding up because that one got cut. Like, the other questions are a little bit more deep, maybe. And it'll give me stuff to talk about in a future um, kidding up. So, yeah. Now I guess I'll just talk about this. Um, oh, and did I say it's very hot right now? <laughs> it actually was kind of good for me to have these questions because it distracts me from how hot it is. Um, I might be complaining in the next couple videos about the heat because it's supposed to be really, really hot soon. I'm actually recording this. I'm actually recording this on Friday. Um, so this is, will actually be two weeks, exactly two weeks before this is being posted. Um, just because this is going to be the last not insanely hot day before it will become insanely hot. So I don't know if I want to record during the time it's insanely hot. One, I'm kind of one afraid that I'll just be really, really, really like cranky doing, doing the video. And two, I'm kind of afraid that like when it's going to be hot, like there's going to be all these new people who, who bought air conditioning units. <clears throat> Because I saw in the news this morning that they were showing these people in line in front of Lowe's buying air conditioning and how they at like five something a.m. or something and then how Lowe's ran out of of air conditioning units like within like the first 10 minutes of them being open. Um, so, so yeah, I think what's going to happen is there's going to be a bunch more air conditioning units plugged in and I'm kind of afraid that there's going to be like it's going to tax the electrical system and there's going to be power outages. So, so if I, if I do record during the heat, 
I'm kind of afraid that there's going to be a power outage. But, you know, in the whole scope of things, that doesn't matter because, I mean, it's not like my camera needs power to to run. So it'll still record. It'll just, I'll just be like, oh, power outage. <laughs> And then, and then my fan will turn off and then I'll just be even more miserable. I don't know. I'm actually contemplating just trying, like thinking, I was like, where can I go this weekend? Um, like, what mo like what store do I need to go to so that I just could go to a store and just like take advantage of their um, air conditioning? I was also thinking, you know, this, these drills look actually kind of bad. I don't know. Um, I'll see when I do my after when I f actually finish the diamond painting and do my review. Um, I'll let you know, but these don't look that good, but we'll see. Um, the hazards of using the, the rhinestones, but yeah, no, I'm kind of afraid that with all these new um, air conditioning units getting plugged in this weekend that there's just going to be blackouts and power outages and then I'm gonna have to escape to somewhere else so that I can get away from the heat. Okay so it does look like I have three extra things here and I only have one extra bottle so I'm not gonna use it. Um, so I'm just gonna tuck these into here um, and I'll, I'll know what they are just based off of this um, code here. So I'll just tuck that into here. You know what, I think I'm gonna put it into one of these bags because I'm kind of afraid that if I open it, it'll just fall off the side. So I'm just gonna keep it in one of these and so at least it'll be a bigger target if it falls. But yeah, there it is. I'm done with this diamond painting or kidding up this diamond painting. So, so stay tuned at some point. I will finish them because I kind of want to do one of them next. I don't know which one will be which one I feel like it, but but yeah, so there it is. Um, so stay tuned for the next Kidding Up, which will be next week because I do this weekly. And well, thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye!